Omarim has gone back to the mountains. He said something like, the three are reunited, the way can be revealed. Then he went off muttering to the south, to the south. <laughs> Honestly, he's completely off his head. That man with you is one of those who offended the gods. Lord Marduk has forgiven him his error. The captain is going to redeem himself and help us to appease the dragon's wrath. To reveal the hidden door, place your medallion on the sign of the trident and turn it so the spikes are pointing downwards. The cuneiform inscription can be translated as, having crossed the seven oceans, the great ship came to rest on the mountain. I think this mechanism might open the door again and give access to the medallion room. Over to you, Howard.
Now, I don't see Elliot's body, but his bag's still here. Apart from this sheet of paper in one of the pockets, it's a handwritten page dated 11th March 1921. It's my father's handwriting. But that's impossible. He died at the end of the Great War. Elliot? What a nice little family reunion. You'll excuse me if I don't come down to say hello, but I prefer the view from up here. How did you manage to... Escape the poisonous vapor? I simply played dead. Who'd have thought that tombs could also shelter the living? I see you've made up with your old friends, Captain. I didn't doubt you'd betray me at the first opportunity. Elliot, why don't we become a team, huh? Why are you working for that Thule group? What's in it for you? Wealth, Brooks. More money than I could ever hope to spend. Fool can pay me back a hundred times over for everything the Great Depression stole from me. You're not the only one who lost everything in the Depression. Just think of the consequences if Atlantean knowledge is used ill-advisedly. Nothing leaves me more indifferent than the fate of this world. You may like to live in dreams, but that's not my style. Goodbye, Brooks. I found a page torn from my father's journal in your bag. How did you come by it? The people I worked for are very resourceful. I don't have to answer that, Brooks. You'll have plenty of time to think it over in the darkness of your prison. Elliot really got us this time. We were too involved with the sanctuary gate to be on our guard. To fail so near to our goal. I must admit, he's pretty clever. No wonder he's a treasure hunter. Come on, Howard, use your head. You must be able to find a way to get us out of here. Oh, sure. Give me a felt hat and a whip and I'll turn into a big movie star adventure hero and fix everything just like that. We've fallen through the trapdoor Elliot had disabled. He's reset the mechanism. Do you know where the mechanism is? Right where there's a carving of a bull's head. I think it's quite near the doors. I found a page from my father's journal in Elliot's bag. It was written in 1921. Maybe my father wasn't dead at the end of the war. He might be still alive. Now there's a revelation for you. 
Well, hope springs eternal. If your father is still of this world, I have no doubt the quest for Atlantis will reunite you. If I want to light this torch, I'll need some kind of fuel. That's a pretty scarf you've got there, Kate. I think I might find that useful. Take it. Thank goodness I'm not wearing my evening dress. Heaven knows what you might have done with that. Could this have something to do with the dream my father wrote about in his journal? Mm -hmm. 